Must be gay in Hollywood. You never expected. They be having these big mansion parties and the mansion party, the whole mansion is a party. And then it's a separate party in the little rooms. For uh, Tyler Perry has created uh... His it's own studio. His own studio. I found out there are like 12 sound studios there. Yeah, it was I mean, spectacular. Or, or film studios. Uh, uh, and one of them is named after you. Yes. That's yeah. extraordinary. The Will Smith, Smith soundstage. Soundstage, yeah. It was fantastic. Unbelievable. So in the middle of Mr. Perry changing up the scenes, he says, you know, I want Jeffrey to be gay. And he has a crush on his that's not what I auditioned for. So Tyler Perry is making waves again, and not in a good way. Apparently, there are rumors going around that he's pushing a certain agenda on black actors. And now Cat Williams is adding more fuel to the fire and spilling the tea on how several high-profile actors allegedly did some favors for Tyler. And there are some big names being thrown in the mix, from Will Smith to Eddie Murphy. And some folks are now going as far as to speculate that Tyler Perry might be the ditty of Hollywood. But is this another crazy conspiracy theory, or is Tyler really out these pressuring actors into compromising situations? Let's get into it. I'm excited in a motherfucker to be at the mansion party. You be looking in all the goddamn rooms and you around and look in the wrong room and <laughs> Nick, come here. Come here. Is that too kissing? So there's some buzz about Tyler Perry supposedly projecting his suppressed preferences on black actors in Hollywood and pressuring them into certain situations. Actor Brandon Jay, who was cast in Tyler Perry's shows Meet the Browns, recently spilled the beans on TikTok about how Tyler allegedly pushed him to play a gay character. Brandon was supposed to play the role of a high school student dealing with but according to Brandon, Tyler changed the script last minute and told him his character would now be gay and have a crush on his bully. But Tyler didn't stop there. Branding said Tyler later changed the script again and it seemed like he was testing how far he could push him. You have 15 minutes to work on your script and we're about to start filming. I go into hair and makeup for them to touch me up and I start to read the script and I see that Jeffrey is no longer gay. So far today, I've been given three new scripts and my character has been changed twice. But these accusations are just the tip of the iceberg. There's been a lot of chatter about Tyler Perry being one of those powerful producers who put pressure on black actors to wear dresses on screen. One of the first ones to talk about the so-called dress ritual was Dave Chappelle back in 2006 when he appeared on The Oprah Show and revealed he was pressured to wear a dress for a movie with Martin Lawrence. And then there's Terrence Howard who recently said in an interview that Hollywood deliberately portrays black men as effeminate because strong black men are seen as a threat. The man has been demonized. Terrence said. With the new formula, most men are made to be effeminate and not have their power or sense of strength. They allow white men to be able to be strong, but when it's black men, it's seen as a threat. Comedian Godfrey later echoed the same sentiment and said this whole dress agenda is connected to how historically black masculinity was always seen as a threat. Black masculinity has always been a threat to white, the white majority. It always has been. You know, in white families, they say, don't you, don't, you better not date no goddamn. You know, a lot of Latin families get like that. The black masculinity has always been scary. Another actor who admitted he was pressured into wearing a dress is D.C. Curry, best known for his role as Uncle Elroy in the Free Day series. I got offered some parts and that I said, I can't, I can't do that. Even though it's acting, I just, and, and then it would start messing with your mind. Why would they offer me a part like that? So far away. What do you want me to be a woman for when mm -hmm. you got black women actresses who are funny in Hollywood been out there trying to make it and you wanna give me a part like that? So they try to put you in a dress? Yeah, uh, yeah. Wow. And it was kind of like, you know, you're gonna bite this bullet and then you in. Well, you got the wrong nigga. This list of black actors who faced similar pressure from Hollywood is suspiciously long and you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to wonder why these producers are so obsessed with putting black actors in dresses. But there's another side to this story and it all ties in with Tyler Perry and his rumored agenda. So according to rumors, Tyler's role in Hollywood is to pressure black actors not only to wear a dress on screen but also to get into some compromising situations off screen. So you've probably heard the gossip that's been floating around for ages about Tyler possibly being on the DL, and some fans are out there saying Tyler might be projecting his orientation onto other black actors.
Well, Cat Williams is not here for it. A video of Cat recently resurfaced where he straight up called Tyler Perry a drag queen and insinuated that Tyler is hiding his truth. I don't have any hatred in my heart for Tyler Perry because he works hard. But he is a drag queen. <laughs> Let's be very honest. A drag queen is somebody who works in drag. Uh, Do you know who Madea is, sir? <laughs> That's a in that dress, sir. That's not nobody's grandma. Uh -uh. Seems kind of f***ed up to me that you could be a famous entertainer and make billions and billions of dollars. But the one thing you can't do is tell the truth. And then on top of this, rumors recently popped up that several high-profile actors agreed to do some favors for Tyler. And allegedly, heavyweights like Eddie Murphy, Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, and Wesley Snipes are among them. One thing these four actors have in common is that they all said yes to the rumored dress ritual. Eddie Murphy did it in The Nutty Professor, Will Smith in Wild Wild West, Martin Lawrence in Big Mama's House, and Wesley Snipes in To Wong Fu. But that's not the only thing Eddie, Will, Martin, and Wesley share in common. It turns out all of them are super close to Tyler Perry, and back in 2019, they came together at Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta, where two highly anticipated sequels are being filmed. Eddie Murphy's Coming to America, starring Wesley Snipes, and the next installment of Bad Boys with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. And then another thing that these four share, besides being certified legends, is that they've all faced rumors about their sexuality. Let's start with Eddie Murphy. Back in 1997, he became the talk of the town when he was caught in a car with a transgender S-worker, Shalom Mar Sayuli. On May 2, 1997, Sayuli was being watched by police when she was seen getting into Eddie's SUV. Shortly after, the police pulled them over and grilled Eddie for about 30 minutes. Eddie insisted he was just playing the Good Samaritan card by giving Sayuli a lift home and he also later denied knowing that Sayuli was biologically male. The police eventually let Eddie go. However, Sayuli was arrested due to an existing warrant. However, other trans women later came forward, claiming Eddie was their regular customer, and Eddie reportedly paid them to retract their stories. Meanwhile, Sayuli claimed to have received threats after she refused to change her story. And then, almost exactly a year after her encounter with Eddie, Sayuli's lifeless body was found on the sidewalk outside her apartment building. The police concluded that she fell five floors and suffered severe head trauma. The death was classified as accidental. However, the coroner's report stated that a neighbor heard a scream around 5 a.m., right around the time of Sayuli's death. And this led to speculation that Sayuli didn't accidentally fall, but was pushed. Now, besides this tragic story, there's also the fact that Eddie Murphy has been a regular at Diddy's parties over the years. Here's one article published in 2013 by Page Six titled, Murphy Floats Diddy's Boat, saying that Eddie Murphy held court at a party on Sean Diddy Combs's yacht oasis moored in St. Bart's Gustavia Harbor. And now let's move on to Tyler Perry's other three friends, Wesley Snipers, Martin Lawrence, and Will Smith. All three of them have faced rumors about being on the DL at different points in their careers. In Wesley's case, back in the day, there were rumors he had a clause in his contract that stipulated he had to have an intimate scene in every film with the leading lady and a legal he did this to distract the public from speculating about his true preferences. Martin Lawrence was the subject of similar rumors, and allegedly, he's also developed a very close relationship with Diddy. In fact, Cat Williams recently mentioned both Martin and Diddy in his viral interview on Club Shay Shay, claiming that Martin tried to put him in his first dress while Diddy tried to pressure him to party together. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling <laughs> you about. Right, because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you got to tell him no. Oh, you gosh. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so can't, freely. Can't, can't Martin tried to put me in my first dress. And finally, we have Will Smith. Will has been dealing with the DL rumors pretty much his whole career. And then last year, his former assistant brother Bilal dropped a bombshell claiming that these weren't just rumors and that he once caught Will and actor Dwayne Martin in the act. And then I saw some acts that I, when I walked in on. Who'd you walk in on? Him and Dwayne Martin. There was a couch and um, Will was bent over on the couch and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder, like murder. And all this has led some fans to speculate that Tyler Perry might be using Diddy's playbook and pressuring all these actors into some crazy situations. Someone said, I used to love Tyler Perry because he seemed so different from other elitists. So it was quite disappointing for me to start realizing he is one and the same with them. I'm sorry to all who were treated unfairly by him. And then another fan went a step further saying, Tyler Perry is the Diddy of Hollywood and he needs to be arrested and charged for a lot of sh
But what's your take on this theory? Is it just another conspiracy? Or do you think Tyler is really out there pressuring actors to do some sketchy stuff? Drop your comments below and then check out this next video.